Hello misfits and welcome back. If you are new here, welcome, welcome. Grab a seat, get some tea, and enjoy the vibes. You see the title of this video and that means I will be doing a reading on what lesson you will be experiencing this month during the uh, May 28th to like what June 3rd or something like that. So because Jupiter is conjuncting the North Node, this means that there is going to be a lot of karmic blessings and things like that going on um, during this week. So I thought it would be good to do a central reading on it and see what kind of like what will be your karmic blessings this week. So, if you are here for this reading, please like, subscribe, share, comment what you think your blessings are, what pile you resonate with. So, I thought it would, you, it would be good to do kind of like what karmic blessings you would have coming in just because the whole Jupiter concept, um, North Node um, happening, you know, it kind of usually brings in blessings and good luck and things of that nature, things from your past that is starting to come in um, that is going to help or at least from your ascending, you know, your south node that is going to be carrying over into your north node that's going to help make things um, probably like clearer for you in the future. So this is pertaining to the May 28th, June 3rd kind of like timeline. But again, timeline is time is a construct. So even if you're watching this, say if you're watching it in December, for example, it doesn't matter. It's probably something in this video that you needed. It's probably some message um, that has to come through to you at this time. It's probably something particularly that I'm saying in one of these piles that's going to resonate with you. So just remember that. So now that I've said that, please also remember that I am not open for personal reading. So if someone is reaching out to you saying that they are Lotus Mage, that's a lie. Run. Report. Because that is simply not true get away from it and, you know, report that page because I will not be reaching out to anyone for personal readings. I just don't have that time right now, um, unfortunately. I wish I could do it more, but I don't. So with that being said, my readings are intuition-based. As you see here, I do this with divination cards, dice. Um, I've also doing it with things like dominoes and stuff like that. I just don't do it on here, but I do do it with cards. And so work sticking with that so if that is something that disturbs your spirit you don't agree with now's your time to click off so all of that being said let's get into separating these piles i noticed some people kind of like to see how you do the piles at the beginning so for this video purpose i'm going to break this down into three piles and see um you know whether or not people like that i don't know if people typically do or if they just like to get right into the piles but I'm going to separate this into three piles and see what we get. So that was one card there. Well, you know what? Actually, let's leave this out. I should probably do it like this. Because lately, I've really been working with this deck. I'm really trying to get better with this deck, the archetypes. I do have the one that's from, oh my God, is it Emily? Emily Miss or something like that? I'll, you know, put it in the video once I remember. And her archetype cards, I do like that it's broken down in like person, place, tool, and kind of like uh, the overarching, what is it? The overarching source or something like that that you have to work with. I have to, I have to go back and look at it. But this one I like because it's just, it's literally just getting straight into the archetype that you will be embodying. But we're going to get into this. I just like to do one quick shuffle. So we're going to see what archetype do you need to embody? What archetype does my power ones need to embody? What is the archetype of my power ones and the karmic blessing they will be receiving May 28th to June 3rd? What is the overall archetype? Okay, that's it. Or did I, did I just flip it under? I don't know. What is the archetype of the karmic blessing that my power tools will be embodying? That was a lot. But I feel like this is it. What is the archetype of the karmic blessing that my power tools will be embodying? This would be
Sorry you seen that. We're going to, well, because it was like this. I flipped it over. We're going to turn these all upright, though. Let's, let's just turn these all upright. I'm going to be fair. So that way I can read the negative and positive. So let's see here. We're going to get into pile one first. Spirit, can you expand on what karmic blessings pile one will be receiving? Okay. We'll be receiving a few cards to expand on the karmic blessings that my pile ones will be experiencing. Oh, that's three cards. We're going to leave it at that. Oh, we actually have four. Okay, so this is pile one. Let me estimation and clarity on the karmic blessings. Pile one will be experiencing May 28th to July 3rd. Do you want to flip over in here? Sorry, you seen that. That one. Okay. Is there anything else? Any more explanation? The karmic blessings. How one will be experienced in May 28th, June 3rd. Okay. Um, I don't know. I feel like that one wants to come out, so we'll put that one. And then lastly, oh, <laughs> not it doing that. Okay. And then lastly, any last clarifying cards for my pile ones and what karmic blessings they will be experiencing I feel like this one to come out too so there we go pile one done here we go pile two Let's clarify these. I have some clarifying smoke over here I want to get into. What kind of blessings will my pile to be experiencing May 28th of June 3rd? What kind of blessings? Any other kind of blessings will my pile to be experiencing? We're counting those, not these. Because these actually fell out. Let me get some more clarity. What kind of blessings my power to is with the experience of May 28th to June 3rd? More clarity. Power to is with the experience of This one definitely wants to come out. Oh, and this one. think that one's supposed to come out i'm gonna leave that for you pile two let's see here this is pile two and then pile three that came right on out didn't it okay hold on here Clarify, clarify, clarify.
Okay, pile threes, you're taking a mini here. So, oh, so maybe it's going to be something that's going to take some time. Or it has taken some time right off the bat. I'll say that. Because those took a minute to come out. Okay. And then lastly, clarifying. Any last clarifying messages we need? Okay, I feel like something, didn't something flip over? No, I was crazy. Oh, it landed, okay. Anything else? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to put those to the side. And so pile three, as you see, I have now went through and done each pile. So now you, you've seen some of them flip over. You kind of know which ones you will probably resonate with and which ones you want. So... I'm going to get into it, starting with pile one here. This is my pile one. So pile one, the archetype you're going to be dealing with, the monk, the nun. Mind you, yours was the only one that came up in the upright as well. So your light attributes is being selfless, devotion, and single-minded dedication to spirit. But the shadow attributes is negative judgment of the physical world, excess piety. So... Typically, when I read this, you're probably like the strong friend, the dependable one that people kind of come to in times of need or help, um, assistance, anything like that. So maybe that's the karmic blessing that you're getting because you are so selfless with others. You're probably going to start reaping those benefits. But let's see if I'm right. So then we have the Ten of Knives. In the reverse, the daughter of baskets and Miss Ida in reverse. So I'm immediately getting something of, of a struggle. I don't know if it's like you're probably trying to break out of a habit of being selfless, of like giving to others. And now your cup is kind of like ending. You have the daughter of baskets. That's like up there with like the uh, queen of baskets or the queen of cups, essentially, of just being very caring, very nurturing, um, you know, being holy for everyone. You know, it could be romance. It could be, you know, all of those things. But in this case, because you have the daughter of baskets and you also have the 10 of knives here in reverse with the Miss Ida, this reads very like intuitive, very caring. You probably know, you probably have words that escape your mouth that are, supportive without even knowing like you say the right thing without even like trying to you say the right things to people so this again this is making me think like you are someone that people kind of come to for advice but with the daughter of baskets being here and miss ida also being in reverse with the ten of knives it also makes me think like maybe you have you haven't learned the art yet of learning when to pull back before you're depleted. You haven't learned the art yet of setting up those boundaries. You haven't learned the art yet of like how to say no to people, even when, um, you know, you don't have anything else to give. And so you've kind of struggled with that. You always feel like you're probably a bad person if you're not, you know, wholly giving or catering to someone else. Miss Ida also is um, the empress in this deck as well. So this may speak to something like maybe, um, yeah, habit, or it could be something that's like, you've probably learned or, sorry, get the camera to focus. This is probably something that you've kind of like learned or has been passed down to you. You've seen this behavior with other uh, people in your life, other women in your life or other feminine figures in your life as well. And so you've kind of just, that's like your default. You're just used to taking the, literally taking the shirt off your back and giving it to others. 
But again, that leads you at the end of the day of, okay, what shirt do you have to wear now? Who's going to give you their shirt? And so again, this could be bringing in that energy of now people are going to be reciprocating the care that you give onto them. They're going to start giving to you because again, now you're getting to this point where you're starting to feel depleted. You're starting to feel left out. You're starting to feel like you don't have anyone to depend on. You don't feel like you have that strong friend you can turn to in your times of need. And so now that you're kind of like getting to the, the end of your rope, you're feeling depleted. Again, your cup has empty. Someone's going to come around and replenish that for you. Or people, someones are going to come and replenish that for you. The Oracle cards you have is just fell off the turnip truck. But I say someone who is young, this is reads negativity obliviousness and experience gullibility study and apprenticeship needed you have not kind of set up those boundaries you have not learned the the lesson the art form of saying no with grace of of still holding space for someone while still putting yourself first you also have um, the swamp angel, which is an insect, essentially nuisance, propagation, gossip, hassle, freeloading, opportunism. So maybe you've had someone who's been taking advantage of your caring nature. And that's why you've been feeling depleted because you've been giving all, all your resources, your everything to this particular person. And they're not really giving back anything even and, and it's not always something of like a fair exchange it doesn't always have to be something monetary i want you to kind of get that out your head it doesn't always have to be something monetary it could just be hey i'm holding space for you to talk today hey i'm holding space um for me to treat you today what do you want to do hey i'm holding space to how can i help you in this time of need like i may not be able to help you out at work but maybe i don't know you have kids or something maybe this friend can offer time babysitting the children so you can have an hour or two or three hours to yourself to just kind of like take a bath drink some nice wine watch a fun rom-com and you know replenish yourself have some self time to yourself maybe it could be something of I had a frog in my throat, so this also makes me think that maybe some things aren't being said either, kind of emotional. So again, going back to that daughter of baskets energy, you, you're starting to feel, I'm sorry if you hear all this going on, I'm recording during the memorial holiday, so excuse me. Um, so back to the reading, it's just kind of like, um, again, you aren't getting their reciprocal energy you're having somebody where you're you're there for them and and all their needs but again you don't have someone who can be like hey i'll run a bath for you or hey can i help clean your house or do you want somebody to get you groceries you know something do you want me to drive you back and forth to work this week because you don't have a car because you was driving me all last week getting places and now your car is messed up just those little things it doesn't have to be exactly monetary it's just those little acts of service those little signs of sharing and caring that goes a long way with you but then you also have honey child so it's interesting to me that you have miss ida in reverse and miss and honey child and this one is also a two but it also gives you kind of like that empress energy it speaks to abundance fertility belief succor growth warmth beginnings in your prime so again this still speaks to that fresh that young energy it still speaks to that young, that fresh, renewed energy, but it also speaks to kind of like that adolescent energy. It could also speak to somebody kind of coming into their maturity, someone who is starting to realize um, certain things about themselves that they're starting to grow, maybe some certain ideas that are starting to take root um, in your life and you're starting to notice that and you're starting to kind of like maybe make space for or clear away certain things that's kind of been blocking that for you. You also do have funnel, period of frustration, lessons to be learned. Again, that is something that keeps reoccurring in this entire reading of like there's some kind of wall, some blockage, some frustration that has occurred in your life. Pile one, and you are feeling tired. I don't know if you can hear kind of like the emotion in my voice. I think that's, that's your energy because it's definitely not me. But... <laughs> Again, this just speaks to kind of like that frustration, that tiredness, that exhaustion. And I don't think it's just physical exhaustion. It could be mental, emotional exhaustion as well. Spiritual exhaustion. And maybe it's something like you probably, because you've been caring for so many others, you probably haven't been going into 
your spiritual practice and that's probably something that's been making you feel renewed as well that's probably why you have the monk nun here maybe there's some spiritual practices that you've kind of fallen out of favor with or you've fallen out of practice with because you have been so focused on the physical world it does say here your shadow attributes is negative judgment of the physical world i had to just think about that maybe there's some things that's starting to make you start to become pessimistic about the life that you're living right now and it could be a lot of the societal things at large cultural things at large it could be just these little things here and there with like your friends and stuff like that just just making you lose hope making you lose faith and that's another reason why you're tired i feel like that may for some of you that may be the the where the karmic blessing is coming in and maybe there's going to be a karmic blessing coming in but just kind of like renewing your belief your trust in life again your your vigor for life again to live to you know kind of hey today is a tough day tomorrow's going to be a tough day this week this month this year could be tough but you're going to have something that's going to come around and it's going to be like oh wait so I went through all of that tough moment that, you know, that tough situation, everything was hard, everything was falling apart. And now I see why, because now I can appreciate this rainbow that's coming up after all of this struggle. And not saying that, you know, <laughs> you have to struggle in order to appreciate things. But I just think typically as humans, sometimes we kind of lose, we lose that perspective when we're just living every day, we're trying to survive, we're trying to we're just trying to get by and you kind of lose perspective on the little day, everyday little nuances that make your life your life, that make you happy. And so then we also have teapot, deep friendship with somebody of the same sex. Again, this could be going back to that um, very depleting friend or maybe it's again it's that friendship that's just been taking up so much of your time it's just absorbed so much of your energy and you're like you're looking up like wow i really spent too much time in this person's bubble and now i'm probably picking up their their negative energy and you have to cleanse that and that again can go back into that spiritual practice i was talking about maybe you need to kind of cleanse that maybe you need to see a, a acupuncturist maybe you need to kind of go um see somebody who do who does reiki maybe again you need a nice bath or something like that you probably need the time to recharge you also have gong an exciting event so here goes your karmic blessing coming around you went through that struggle it was off it was not all for nothing you're getting something out of this there is a light at the end of the tunnel there is a rainbow at the end of this rainstorm there is you know a peace in the middle you know the eye of the storm there is going to be a peaceful moment here that's going to be coming up like to renew you again, to give you strength, to give you a cause to continue forward. You also do have chain of events that'll affect your life. Wow, I couldn't even pull these cards I wanted to. Tulip, great passion. And this is all going back to what I was saying earlier. Something's gonna probably renew your passion, your vigor for life to live, um, recharging your batteries, whether that's, you know, taking a vacation, Take, just simply taking a staycation in your house, even in your basement, whatever it is, in your yard, go touch some grass. Um, I know we kind of like overuse that a lot, but it could be a number of these things and something is going to come around to renew your faith and possibly friendships in life in your spiritual practice um, and your, your trust in, in humanity um, this is going to wipe away kind of like your pessimism that you have about humanity or whatever it is. I think that is the karmic blessing that you're going to get. I think, again, it's going to be something. The reason why all of this is happening is because it, it wants you to see both the light and dark of life. Because maybe you have been experiencing where, you know, but I'm not going to say so much of it was good or so much of it was bad. But you've probably been um, seeing too much of an imbalance in your life right now. And so now things are kind of just going to come in and even the scales a little bit, tilt it a little bit in your favor. And it's going to help you. And I think it's probably because you are meant to, you're meant to keep this nature, this loving nature, this caring nature that you have, this I feel like some of this may be somebody who is like religious as well. So maybe it's just tapping back into maybe you are meant to spread the word of whatever your gospel, your religion, your spiritual practice is. Maybe you're meant to spread those words even more. So again, power one, I think this is your karmic blessing that you're having coming in that you have to tap into and that you're going to get. So I 
really would like to see if you know if you got to the end of this put a teapot let, yeah let's say put a teapot um down in the comment section let me know what you think your karmic blessing is or when your karmic blessing comes through when it starts to make sense because of course when i'm reading this at the time it may not be making six sense in that moment and for some of you it may be making sense because you're going through it right now again time is subjective so i really be i'm really interested to hear kind of like what's been your karmic blessing the form that it comes in is whether it's just that spiritual practice that friend that's coming through kind of helping with things if it's you know again something some stranger that's coming through and kind of um, initiating or reigniting your belief, your spiritual belief, your belief in humanity, your belief in living was reigniting your vigor. Again, this could be for some of you, this could be a time of um, great depression or maybe or something like that for you some kind of mental anxiety exhaustion that you're going through so i'll be glad to hear about it. And I'm this reads really nice for you all. I'm glad that this is coming through for you. Um, but with that power, I'm going to wrap it up with you all. Great job. Again, <laughs> really happy to see this coming through for you. But I'm going to move on to pile twos. So I don't know if this is a sign or not, but my black candle just went out. And wow, that's a weird pile two. Okay, I'm getting with you and then everything weird happening. Okay, let's try this again. Did y'all? I'm going to leave it in here. I almost set my desk on fire because the match want to break. Wow. So sorry if you got a lot of smoke there on the screen. Promise you I'm not smoking. <laughs> Anyways, pile two. Let's get into this thing. Mind you, your card did come up in reverse. Have you seen me doing um, separating every all the cards for your pick of pals? Yours did come up in reverse. So yours, um, I'm going to read the shadow attribute first. Relying on luck rather than hard work. But the light attribute reads willingness to follow intuition even when others doubt you. So to me, this is kind of giving like magician meets the fool kind of energy. So... Again, this uh, kind of brings a magician meets the fool energy. Maybe you have been getting through life very easy and everything has been going fine for you or maybe it hasn't. And now it's kind of like, okay, you kept messing up those other times because you were kind of like, how can I explain this? Because it's I'm seeing it like the wording in my head, but I can't explain the situation. So give me a minute. So this feels like... Here's the best example I have. You know, when your parents or society at large, at least told a lot of us millennials, um, hey, go to school. If you go to school, you're being guaranteed a good job. If you, you know, follow this and this and that, things are going to work out. Hey, put some money in the stock market. That's the surest way to get your money back. Start investing in, I don't know, property or something like that. You'll start seeing the investment. You know, that's a good investment. You'll start seeing those returns. And I feel like you probably did what a lot of society or people at large or what you thought was going to help kind of like have those benefits that, that karmic payback. But you've kind of been seeing like, oh, well, I haven't been getting that. I haven't been getting the benefits of it all. You told me to do this and now I'm not getting it. You told me to go to school, but I, here I am working at, I don't know, at a job that's paying me like $14 an hour. It's not even enough to afford an apartment. I can barely afford <laughs> groceries on this or something. Like it kind of feels like it's something like that. Maybe you have taken a few gambles just, just kind of like hoping something will stick and you haven't had to pay off for it. But now you're going to start seeing some of the benefits coming back to you. But you actually have to apply yourself instead of just shooting a dart in the middle of the night and hoping something happens. That's what I'm getting. And then look, eight of coins. If that's talking about working on something and not getting a return, a benefit, some kind of investment in it, you have the six of coins. You are a gambler. You are a gambler. You like to take the freaking risk. You have the three of coins. You have the eight of coins in reverse, the six of coins, and the three of coins. And then you also have the big house as well. So something to me says that you see a lot of things with rose-colored glasses. Like you have been the person somebody has sold 
somebody sold you on NFTs or something. <laughs> like, for example, somebody sold you that NFTs was going to be the best thing since white bread. And you were like, no, you're lying because I invested in it and here we go. Or like you were just somebody who I know I remember at the beginning of the pandemic. I'm still mad about this, by the way. I'm in my feelings about it. Um, I remember like at the beginning of the pandemic, uh, game was like, yeah, GameStop stock started soaring. And I had like one little piece of like GameStop stock. And then it was just like, if I heard when, when I first heard the initial news, I should have invested as much as I could and pulled all my money because then it just skyrocketed and everyone was getting rich. I feel like you were like me, you were late on the gold mine rush. So, <laughs> um, Again, you're a gambler. Like, you don't mind putting money out there. This kind of also makes you think of, like, Capricorn energy. Like, Capricorns are very stand 10 feet tall on, like, I'm going to do an invest investment, and I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's licking stamps. It's going to make money. And it's like, how are you making money off of that? So I think, like, you kind of had the spirit of, like, you know, I, I would say this is two ways. Some of you have struggled to get compensation off of the gambles that you made in life, whether again, it was for sure gambles or those more riskier ones. And then some of you, I feel like are like, this is someone who's like a Capricorn or a Taurus or something like that. Um, a Virgo where it was like, Oh, I'm, I'm just putting, I'm just putting coins in the slot. And for whatever reason, I just keep winning. I keep coming up with things happening. Like it's probably not as much as like what other people's get, what other people have received but now i'm actually getting that investment back like i think you're really about to come into some kind of money here there's some kind of like yeah compensation some monetary feedback that you're about to get look at this sweet tooth hankering temptation ardor intimacy proposal message of love we also have bump on a log, lazing around, loafing, inertia, false start, not responsive, disinterest. So some of you have really just been kind of like going through the motions. <laughs> and I think spirit is telling you to kind of like apply yourself. If you apply yourself now during this week, I think you're going to start seeing, you're going to start raking in the seeds from what that you're going to sow. Um, you also do have, there's more than one way to skin a cat. So again, this is going back to my previous analogy or story that I had at the beginning of kind of like, I feel like some of you were like, my parents told me to go to school. I did that. A friend told me to invest in NFTs. I did that. I, my boss told me to apply for this position. I did that. And each time I came up zero right now, life three means zero pile two. I feel like that's how you've kind of been feeling, but now it's saying like, Hey, take that gamble one more time. You may be surprised. Like it was a reason why we had you kind of, we've been like spirit is saying like, Oh, this is the reason why I've been kind of testing your resolve. I want you to keep applying yourself. I want you to keep applying for this position. I want you to keep, uh, I don't know, continue your journey on going back to school. Continue your journey on opening that business. Actually apply yourself. Actually look some things up. Actually network with people. Actually could join with people. Actually share your ideas. And maybe you're going to actually see, hey, someone reach out to you. <clears throat> maybe you're going to actually see someone reach out to you and be like, hey, I know so. I don't really know about that, but I have a friend who does so-and-so, you know, that works in that same field or that's getting into the field as well. And you probably could team up. Or, hey, you know, those other gambles, you might've got a little hundred dollars or something back, but hey, today is the day that you should actually go get that lottery ticket and see if you win. Like, this is kind of like what that feels like. And what do you see? We have June. You also have tree affairs with the family. You have tankard celebration, enjoyment, fun. Yes, this is giving casino energy. And you also have cobweb protected from negative forces beyond your control. So again, this is kind of going back into the energy of kind of like, it feels like the cosmos, spirit, source, whatever you want to call it, has been constantly trying you to see if your resolve is actually in the right space. Are you actually applying yourself? Are you, do you actually want this? What do you really want? If you really go after what you want right now during this May 28th, June 3rd, uh, kind of like week, you're going to actually start seeing some 
payback on it. And it may not even be this week. It could be start applying yourself now and you'll start seeing the payback later on this year, maybe next year. Maybe it'll plant some seeds to where maybe two years from now, someone is going to be like, hey, I remember we met at some little punch bowl social thing and you were talking about this. Did you ever really go and do it? Because now I think I'm ready and I'm ready to invest. Like that's kind of like the vibe that I'm getting here. But I think now is the perfect time to start on it. You do have the June card here. So that could be June of this year. It could be June in the future. It could be late June. And again, it don't have to be, it don't have to be early June. Time is a construct. This does not apply just for this time period. But I think, again, it's just kind of telling you, enjoy the process. Have fun with this. I don't think you've kind of been tapping into the gambling spirit and maybe you need to take that gamble on yourself for once and that's probably why I'm getting that full magician kind of feeling of like gamble on yourself self for once you've been gambling on everyone else and it's been paying off gamble on yourself what, what's a better bet than gambling on yourself just saying pow to you also do have the tanker here so I think it is going to be something worth celebrating you did also have the sweet tooth here the hankering temptation proposal so these can all speak to things of business but it can just be something of like hey maybe you just not you need time to just kind of really enjoy the fruits of your labor if you haven't been already so that could be a messaging for some of you and so pile two again this is your karma blessing coming through you're you're coming into some kind of money or you know you're coming into some kind of application you're coming into some kind of level up here i think in the physical realm if you just apply yourself and i think all the universe is asking in return is for you to actually be studious on be studious and focus on your intentions that you are applying are you really doing this out of necessity or, or are you doing this out of i want is is it a like on your on your level list is it is it like i need this i really want this or is it just like a low level thing of like i feel like i need this or want this because of someone else so again pile two i think if you just apply yourself right now you're gonna come into it it feels monetary um again i keep i keep seeing the gambling here you have the gambler you have the um the three of coins here you had the eight of coins in reverse. So it's just kind of like apply yourself. If you apply yourself, if you really believe in it enough, if you really want it enough, if you've really laid down the foundation, kind of like the step for the step by step and just commit yourself, you're going to get what you need, but don't get wrapped up in just like, this is the consecutive order. It needs to happen. Okay. So with that pile two, I'm going to wrap it up with you all. If you like this uh, reading or if you, it really resonates with you, please like this video comment what your blessing is put a put a cup a wine cup in the <laughs> comment box down below subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this share if you care and i will see you all in the next reading moving on to pile three back to it all right so i had to take a phone call anyways pile three my last pile um Again, as I repeated with the other piles, time is subjective. This is just pertaining to the karmic blessings that you will be getting May 28th to June 3rd. So we're just going to kind of see what's coming through. And so remember yours came up in reverse too, but I said I was going to turn it upright to read them because you can only read it one way anyway. So I got dilettance, dilettante. I may not be pronouncing that right because... English. Um, <laughs> anyways, it says, I'm going to read the shadow attributes first because that's when it came up in reverse, it makes me think shadow attributes. So it says pretension to much deeper knowledge than you actually possess. Ooh, delights in the arts and the light attributes reads delights in the arts without having to be a professional alerts you to the danger of becoming superficial in your pursuits. This feels like this is kind of carrying over from Pile 2. So I'll be interested to know how many of you resonate with Pile 2 and Pile 3. Um, or if some of you resonate with Pile 3 strongly and then kind of went back to Pile 2. 
however that works for you. But again, for me, this kind of makes me feel, yeah, maybe pret pretentious is a thing that you have coming up. But I think uh, it also reads like you're, you're faking as if you're not as deep or as smart that you, you know, or as experienced as entrepreneurial as you actually are like you're trying to kind of like faking it and so maybe this is saying like hey get out of that because then you can actually benefit from some things you also do have the son of knives the son of knives usually when i see this this especially in reverse this speaks to a lot of hubris a lot of ego um egotistical kind of like I, I have something to prove. I got it out for everybody. Like, if you bet me, I'm going to say that I can do it. And I'm going to make sure I do it. And then you also have the eight of six in reverse. And then you have the five of six. So this is interesting, pile three. A lot of this feels like this is some um, kind of like, it feels like conformity. Yeah, conformity. There's been a lot of like outside chatter. There's been a lot of outside influences, molding, um, interpretations. There's been a lot of outside forcing into boxing boxes. And you kind of just, you're ready to shed that. You're ready to shake that off pile three. That's what's coming through for me. And I don't know if it's, you're starting to shake it off through um, maybe some kind of higher calling that you have to art or you know, self-expression, whatever form that may be. Again, this could be something dealing with, I don't know, if you do videos, writing, um, actual graphic design, whatever it may be, it just kind of feels like there's some work here and kind of just expressing yourself, fully stepping into yourself here. And then we also do have, if that ain't truth, grits ain't groceries. That's funny that comes up after I said all of that about you. Uh, so it reads belief, trustworthiness, watch for signs, intuition, lucidity, the real deal. This is starting to feel like your karmic blessing is that you're going to start actually believing in yourself. You're going to start trusting yourself. You're going to start being more aligned within yourself. Right now, you're kind of like out in, in misalignment. You aren't tapping in fully. You you probably don't recognize yourself. You don't know yourself enough. And now your karmic blessing is that, okay, well, we're going to start forcing you into uncomfortable situations to force you to kind of be like, okay, you either, you either going to break and fit into this box with these people that surround you, or you're going to shake that. I can't say the word. You're going to you're going to break out of that and shake away from that in order to kind of fit into the boxes you want to fit into. You got don't get your feathers ruffled, inner calm, well-being, patience, deep breathing, compassion, the ideal. You also have if the good Lord's will it and the creek don't rise, treasured objective, purpose, determination, smooth sailing, assistance. And then you also have Hush up, silence, discretion, contemplation, equanimity, consideration, privacy. So again, this speaks to, there's some, again, I said I was speaking up on hubris, some kind of ego, um, ego sorry, not ego, ego here. Um, there was some kind of like, I have something to prove when I seen the son of uh, knives here, this eight of six in reverse. I think again, when you see eight of, so usually when you see the eight of six and in, in upright, you usually sense like, it's something quick, something, a quick turnover. It's going to be a quick change coming in. But typically when you see, typically when I see, let me say that, when I see the eight of sticks in reverse or eight of wands in reverse, to me, it's, it reads to like taking time, taking step back, uh, a look inward, looking around um, at your surroundings, taking time to kind of like mentally fortify yourself for the, the journey that you're going to be going forward with. Because remember... If you don't know tarot or if you do know tarot, I'm just going to explain. You also then go into the nine of wands and that usually speaks to being kind of like tired, over encumbered, not wanting to deal with. And then you have the ten of wands where it's like, OK, I know I can't carry this burden anymore and I have to let it go. I have to shake something off. I have to kind of like leave something behind in order to move forward because I've I tried my best. I've, you know, pushed it as far as I can. But now I'm at this point where I, now I need assistance. I need someone to kind of reach back and help me get there because now I know I can't do it by myself. And so for me, this speaks to kind of like that same journey that you're going here with. Again, you do have the son of nines here that usually speaks to air energy. Air feeds fire. 
you have the Son of Nines and the Eight of Wands in reverse. So it's kind of like fanning those flames, those those renewed energies that that um that passion again you also do have the five of six and this typical deck it usually speaks to kind of like gossip rumor um it could speak to i want to kind of say like backstabbing but kind of just like oh there's a lot of people it could speak to like infighting as well but to me this kind of reads like inner turmoil i don't know if you had a lot of people you know power three i don't know if you had a lot of people kind of again and this is why I say I feel like it resonates with Powell too. Just kind of like check out the first initial, like probably minute of the uh, Powell too, and you'll see what I mean uh, when I say this is why I think it resonates with Powell. I wouldn't be surprised if you resonate with Powell too as well, because this speaks to kind of like you've let people kind of dictate how you go in life, and you've just kind of like taken a gamble and. It was like, well, hey, somebody told me I'll be good at being a social worker, so I did it. And it really didn't turn out well for me. I really didn't like it, but I was already too deep into my classes or in, you know, into my field where now I just felt stupid to pull out of it. And so now it's, it's again, this speaks to kind of like, it almost feels like midlife crisis energy, some shifting, some changing, something like that. But this could also be just kind of like, you have always been painted into a box or, you know, now you're actually starting to come into yourself. You're starting to know yourself more. And so now you kind of want to, again, take shit a lot of those. Um, you want to shed a lot of the things, the expect. Yeah, that's the word. The expectations or perceptions people have on you and you're starting to not really care. And you're stepping out and actually believing in yourself and doing what you want to do, what you feel is right, which what makes you happy. And so that's that's always a tough journey. I sympathize with anyone who sympathize, empathize with anyone that goes, um, you know, through that journey, because that is not an easy one. Some of us go uh, our whole lives, if not most of our lives, living under the rule of others, of how people think we should be, you know, and we die unhappy. So I'm glad, you know, kudos to you, Power 3, that you're you're, you know, it's not too late. You're starting to see that and you're like, I'm going to shed that, you know, screw what other people say. They're going to talk about me if I do and talk about me if I don't. So let me give them something to talk about. And so kudos to you. Again, this is with this water being here as well. It just water. It's just like self-reflecting. And I think also it, it's probably best if you move in silence, because I think right now you're at a very... You're at a very sensitive part in your journey right now, karmic-wise, karmic where you could share certain things with someone and they'll, because you're still unsure, you're still finding yourself, you're still kind of finding your footing, someone could say something and it'll throw you off track and you'll be like, you'll start guessing, second guessing yourself again of like, am I really doing the right thing? Should I really be doing this? Or should I just listen to what they say? No, listen to your heart, listen to your soul. What really resonates with you? What's bringing high vibrations with you? What's bringing a smile to your face? What's making you happy? What what has really, you know, whether people believe in you or not, if you, you know, you say if you lost one of the most important or closest people to you today, what would be, worth the sacrifice of losing them if you had to you know do this all over again what path would you take i think those are some things you're really going to struggle with and that you really need to ask yourself because you have to you have a different path you have a path that is right for you and it's gonna you know bring you all the happiness in the world and sometimes that means that the people that you want most are not going to be there with you so I think you need to ask yourself those tough questions and you just need to move in silence and do what you have to do or be very discreet. Uh, it's funny I said that and then, hello, old man, dealing with a relationship with the older man. So again, Pile 3, I don't know if this is dealing with someone in your life that is like an uncle, a husband, a father figure, a boss, um you know, maybe it could be a brother, whatever the case may be. Maybe this person you are seriously afraid of you are afraid of upsetting or not living up to their expectations or not making them happy but at the end of the day you are not happy and you need to look at that 
temptation. What did I just say earlier about be careful who you express these things to? Because you could say something to somebody and they will have you second guessing your thoughts. And now, mind you, Power 3, I've pulled all of these cards before I started just kind of going in and divining what I was saying. And this is the cards that you're getting. Just, just keep that in mind. I couldn't... It's just sticking, okay? Um, also, with this being temptation will teach... Will, will test you. And then, you you know, of course, with the apple, you kind of think Adam and Eve. But I'm also thinking of, like, the tree. So, it makes me think of... This is definitely somebody that you're related to. You do also have the son of knives. So there is some masculine influence here. Maybe you're the masculine energy or maybe again, it's some it's a masculine figure in your life that you are afraid of not getting approval from or they disapproving of you or, you know, you're not making them happy or they're being disappointed or something like that. But I'm telling you now, I think if you don't change this... <sighs> If you don't start changing things up now, I think you're going to find yourself in kind of like this weird, this weird, this weird habit of constantly seeking their approval and you're never living for yourself. You're never going to be truly happy. And you were, and uh, remember what I said here, this is Jupiter going in, you know, conjuncting your North node. So there's going to be some karmic blessings that's going to be coming through your no, no in life. If you are someone who doesn't uh, do astrology, I'll just explain to you, even if you don't understand this or you don't care about astrology are, you know, there, if you believe in that, there's a certain trajectory in our life our that is our soul's purpose that we have, that we are aspiring or working toward. I think there is something in this life that you you need to complete, that you are working toward, that you need to be one step closer to. And I, yeah, I want to say like on a molecular level, you will always resonate or vibe at a low vibe if you are not taking those necessary steps, if you are not living up to your North Node, if you are not living up to your true soul's purpose, not life purpose, your true soul's purpose. So again... We have kite vacation here. We have bat take care. Enemies are working against you. And then we also have haystack karma. You will reap what you have sown. So again, I'm not sure why the kite would be here. I only thing that kind of comes to mind for me is um, again, that high vibe, that elevation, or maybe it is saying that literally you need to take some space away from this, influential masculine energy that has always kind of like dictated the way you lived or how you move the choices you make and you have to kind of like separate from them or you need to elevate yourself to a higher vibe that's the only thing i could think of why vacation is here that's kind of like the two things that i'm getting from that but you didn't you also have bad take care so this could be something really sinister of like you literally have haters you literally have enemies hold on i gotta let puppy out so Pupper says he's on a mission to make sure the backyard is safe. Anyways, so the bat take care of enemies are working against you. This could be something of actually there is some malicious entities, energies, people out there that is um, working against you, having you second guess yourself or trying to influence you, take you off the wrong path. Because again, you have temptation will test you here. So maybe there's also something here of kind of like maybe there is some habitual behavior that you always get into when you start to self-doubt yourself whether that's you know going back to your normal habits of, it could be you know imbibing on certain things ingesting certain things it could be something of a sexual nature it could be something um of you know, retail therapy, whatever the case may be, it, it could be some kind of vice, some kind of habit you fall back on in order to kind of like soothe yourself for that second while you make these wrong decisions, while your soul is steady, constantly like screaming at you like, no, no, no. And you're like, well, I don't know why I'm so unhappy. And that's why. And th that could speak to the temptation, the, the, the enemies that are working against you but this could also be again a thing of you are misaligned you your own you are your own worst enemy at this time you are sowing the seeds of doubt you are disconnected you keep falling back into the bad habits you are your own worst enemy you are the one struggling you're the one being pretentious you're the one faking to be something that you're not 
you're the one that's kind of going out here and setting the narrative and the tone for how people treat you and react to you because you are not being honest with yourself. And so I think that's kind of like the karmic energy that's coming in for you, Pile 3, where you have to start stepping into you are being asked, you are being corralled, you are being pushed, nudged into stepping into your shoes and standing on standing on your own merit, your own ground, standing by your choices, whether they end in sorrow or they end in happiness. Stand by that. Stand on your sh and own it. And so with that power three, yours just kind of seemed like a, it kind of felt like I probably came in here and started trying to beat on you or like giving you a stern talking to, but this was the energy I was getting. Sorry if that makes you feel, <laughs> um, troubled in some sort of way but i feel like the tough love was needed in this situation so pile three again i hope you don't succumb to those old temptations those trip falls in your path you know the outside vices and voices that are trying to tempt you and distract you and deter you do you, you know send you on a detour to where you take even longer to come back to this point to continue onward in the right path um, again, your karmic blessings is going to come through if you actually stand up in your stand up with your whole chest and say it loud and proud and move with purpose, move with, I, I want to say ingenuity. I don't know why ingenuity is coming to mind, but, you know, actually standing up and moving with, you know, whole purpose and what you in belief and what you want to do and not what someone else has put on you or society at large has put on you. Um, so yes, with that pile three, you are my last pile. I thank you so much for sticking through to the end. Put an apple in the comment section if you got to the end. Like this video if you would like more videos like this. Share if you care. And I will see you all on the next video. <laughs> Bye.